Uh, I was working in uh, Indonesia, so I was deputy head of delegation uh, based in Jakarta. Yeah. So I was there basically when the tsunami hit. I was uh, stationed there and I, I had to deal with the immediate aftermath. Oh, it was simply the absolutely uh, overwhelming proportion of the disaster. I mean, it was a, a, a paramount uh, catastrophe. I will never forget when I first flew by helicopter down the, the west coast from Bandache down the west coast. I mean, it was about 250 kilometers of, of coastline that, um, that was gone. I mean, infrastructures didn't exist anymore. You had um, um, bridges that, that ended in the sea. You, you were wondering where's the rest of the road. I recall that we had villages uh, where there were maybe 12, 15,000 people living and, and simply 80 remained. This also was something that the international community, I think, in the very beginning did, didn't understand. In, in many places around the, the, along the west coast, there was nothing remaining. So you could bring in uh, tons and tons of food, you could bring in tons and tons of clothes f for home. One of our employees uh, she had gone on holiday over um, uh, Christmas to Bali and at the time of the tsunami her father was fishing uh, and the rest of the family had gathered at home. So when she came back from uh, Bali her family had basically disappeared. Uh, the only person who was left was she and her father. Yeah. Seeing this person who was a very joyful person, someone who was uh, taking life as it comes, uh, just crumbling and, and, and at the same time, nevertheless, seeing the, 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 the sheer destruction and wanting to help others at the same time. I think this was something quite amazing to see people accepting the fate, nevertheless, and trying to help those who needed help. The best example, uh, most likely, is, is the PMI, the, the, the Indonesian Red Cross. I mean, they did everything they could possibly do to, to help their own people. Without uh, them, I think it would never have been possible to do as much as we were able to put in place. Oh, it was certainly overwhelming. Uh, it was uh, exhausting, but at the same time also uh, very much uh, fulfilling. We were nevertheless able to find families all over uh, the place. We were able to, to, to um, accommodate children in environments that were as close as possible to their next of kin. And if you see this taking place, if you see it happening, and um, you see that, that you can make a difference, I think this is extremely fulfilling.